Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the Republic of Honduras, or rather the corporate state of the United Fruit Company. Now, was I last time? We go for a reason speed. So we have currently the acquired Honduras. Uh, started in Honduras, we've acquired Costa Rica, Nicaragua. Salvador, Guatemala. We are currently, and we are currently building up our air force, just to try and build things up. After this, I might start focusing. I forget down to at least um, major focus. Focus on creating a navy. Searching that. About it. So my plan is to. Plan after this, after I've done this, is to expand to Costa Rica, incorporate the Republic of Panama, and buy Belize and the Panama Canal. After that, I'm probably going to go with Alliance of True Corporate States because I do not want to join the Axis. It just isn't. Basically, they have lost sight of what's essential in this world. Rockfish. And that after that, I could go down, well, empower domestic consumption competition, which would um, allow me to claw back to a to a more democratic form. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go for the banana empire. Hmm, could probably get some of the get some of these. It, dep it depends on whether Ecuador and Colombia are going to actually join the allies. If they are, I am going to hold back because I've got no one to fold them. Which means that on second thoughts, I'm going to go for paratroopers. Which means I need, I need transport planes. And a lot of them. So that's the plan for now. Anything else I could build here? Ah, uh, no, I think we'll get back to recording when something interesting happens. Oh, I think I'll go with naval bombers. Why? While I'm not really going to do them, I can use that to try and get, get closer to the medium airframe for advanced transport planes. Not going to be useful to me, but no. This will actually buff them. And I think this should bring us 15 divisions here, should bring us up to a full army. It's perfect. Physical power, I may save this for now. Just need to get all these up so I can get expanded department. Put done that ages ago, but what it is. And of course, the V2 infantry will get Signal Company. Just to provide them with. It does lower their organization a bit, but it provides some extra initiative, extra defense, extra breakthrough. It's. Actually, on second thoughts, I'm going to try rushing Jungle Special Forces first because that will give my paratroopers better attack and movement in jungle, and we have a lot of that. So, tactics effort, that XP up, and then drill effort, and then, yes, I like. For social order, I almost always go with cultural norms because we gain more resources and factory output and stability. Like, it's a bit of a no-brainer. So if I was doing this as a mega corporation, I'd say hierarchy might be more the sort of thing we'd want. But cultural norms it is. After all, 
it is the way of the United Fruit Company that people give themselves for the company. I actually have no idea if that's really the thing, but it does kind of fit as far as I as I can see. We have a full army now. I train them up a bit, then change them over. Now let's see, to change all these over to at least infantry division requires Ooh, a lot of support equipment. We might need to build more factories for those. It means I may just divert into the military industrial complex at some point. But I will need more factories. And more everything. Yeah, more aluminium, more rubber. Well, this is annoying. I can't actually share these in the same... ...group as the as wing as this. That's the way to do this. So I'll try this. Let's see. Okay, so apparently I have to be at the same time. Something like that. It's annoying. Edit them so. You know what? Let's delete them. Sell off the old ones. And they're probably going to want more planes as well. For everything. So here's our Mayo for Taka Airlines. Medium planes. I think it just impacts transport. Because that's the only thing I'm going to be using them for, so... This, ah uh, yes, multi-role transport. A narrow build, I guess. Speed, what that makes. And I need to get some, get this, I need to get some of these as well. Agility, for defense. Worth getting it. I might started some of these over to at least the infantry division. My first. I think it's time I tried purchasing Belize and then expanding to the Republic of Costa Rica. Let's 
So you probably can engineer as well. I'm short of support equipment. So I might as well use the support anti-air with them, because I'm not using it for anything else. Let's just clear that. Probably time I upgrade the artillery as well now I think about it. Well, the United Kingdom has accepted our generous offer and will transfer Belize to us immediately. We will send them our banana boats and a significant amount of our banana production. Which means we do need to give a few more civilian factories, but it's not too much. Now to persuade Costa Rica of the of the benefits of corporate control. Saying that. Because they're probably going to have to that for a while. And yeah, it does mean I'm going to be short of um, port equipment, but with Belize under our control, or do anything else. My shorter of minium. Aluminium plants. I'm just building all these naval bases because I have nothing else to really spend my factories on at the moment. So speaking of, yes, I can finally get some of these. Group rubber outpush. Of course, that's only because we've got digital integration. Salvador. So what I'm doing now is just going to build up as much industry as I can. Costa Rican government refuses to submit. So we will destroy them just as we destroyed Atlantic Bruce. Now, I suppose this is probably as good a time as any to go back and get fighter focus just to get the research upgrades. I mean, what the hell were they thinking that they could stand against our might? And we don't even have any air support because they're off training. I suppose they had to try. the 15th Infantry Division took part in the occupation of San Jose and I'm going to convert them to the new to the new Infantry V2 you were do with all this or fuel usage don't mind if I do use some of these things on probably support equipment guns artillery some of that and put because i will need a lot of them so 
combat insertion or recon and sabotage? We took recon and sabotage. Enemy controlled states that we power drop into will suffer damage to infrastructure and factories. I don't want that. That would be an unacceptable loss of revenue in repairing them. This, though, we disorient, we, combat insertion means we disorient the enemy. I like that. Now, let's see, is there anything I can actually spend it on? So we could use some, yes, yeah, a field hospital. Of course, we're going to be sure. So, and I'll support it. It's not like we're using it for very much. Perfect. We can produce aluminium in Costa Rica. So now we have our paratroopers. And might as well give this to a little bit of a bit of corta. Of course, now we need a lot more air XP to get that up. Hmm, I could re reconstitute the Federal Republic. Hmm, but then I'd have to spend a fair bit of political power to get those up, probably. I think it's worth leaving for now. It's not like I'm really short of any of these factories now either. I'm gonna hold off on purchasing the Panama Canal until after I've incorporated with the Republic of Panama. I think it just makes more sense. And fighters. Yes, I need to get these up. But I'm still on pre-war planes. Mainly because the armies we are up against are just that crap. Republic of Panama folded. Very sensible, boys. Very sensible indeed. I'm going to put these up here on the border. Well, we don't actually need that anymore. Of course, now we need... Well, I'll support it, but... We can get oil from Panama. Even better. I do not like the fact that they look like they're turning communist on us. So, let's build a load of forts here, just to in case they go come over the border. Airland battle or shock and probably shock and oil. No, nope, Peru and Ecuador has declared war on Ecuador. We may have to help them sort that out. Well that's our kind of it's gonna be expensive. So you can like 
with full this apartments. Airborne lace armor, not that I really am using it. The key thing, however, is going to be these two. Hmm. Oh, and that's a bug there. Hmm. Airborne medical detail, signal. I think I'm probably going to go with airborne signal. Because I'm not sure which difference this really makes. Can't really afford it right now anyway, but... The United States of America accepts our generous offer and will transfer the Panama Canal to us. We'll send them our banana boats and a year's supply of fruit. So, we need 20% more consumer, consumer factories and slower construction speed and slower dockyard output for a year. But I think that's worth it. Now, Alliance of True Corporates of True Corporate States. I think it's time we reconstitute the Federal Republic. Central American Empire. Now, sort of the political unification, then possibly economic and military. Do need some more political power for that, but it's going to take a while. And yeah, I'm finally getting 1940s planes and some range improvements for them. That is long overdue. Oh, and I should probably get upgraded engines as well. We haven't needed them so until now, so that's probably the best time for it. Oh, Germany has broken the Molotov of Revenge. Like, come on, Germany. If you make an agreement, stick to it. That's just plain good business. Well, I am going to found the Banana Empire. Give us some political power to spend on creating all of this. So the main problem with going after Ecuador or Colombia is the Darien Gap. This has a massive debuff to attack, organization regain, supply consumption, vision speed. Worst terrain in the world, that. Let's just give us Meta, La Libertad, America. Would give us a chance uh, does he do attack First things first update our air engines because we are gonna need that need better engines to support these planes ah the banana empire does kind of resemble ban banana now while our company's expansion has defied international expectations it still does not meet president zimmery's high expectations recent meeting, he told our generals, You gentlemen have been messing up this business long enough. I'm going to straighten it out. I'm going to now adopt a more hands-on approach. This is going to be interesting. So, horn signals. Because these guys are going to have to hold the line and stay land.
No, the US has joined the UK. So we are not getting involved in the Axis fight. All right, let's see now. I'm not sure if I was actually recording that last bit, so if I wasn't, I don't have an overlay for this. Build some basic infantry units to just hold this area. They're not going to go into the Darien Gap because that is awful terrain, and I'm not willing to go in, go down there. Basically, I'll force Ecuador to come to us. If we start liberating them. And now, our president is our... is a field marshal. Let's see, I think... Defense of Doctrine and possibly... Well, a fast planner, fast, meticulous planner, is what we need. Now, what? Need any of this now? Dockyards? Yeah, I should probably start researching and building up a navy. I haven't really bothered. Let's, let's And we only have a default Mayo for ships. Let's do. But this is unfortunate. Republic of Colombia has joined the Allies. So I may need to think of something different. Get there. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, Mexico has joined the Allies. I think I'm going to just do this the old-fashioned way. So, we're waiting to build up our, na build up our Navy. It looks like corporate expansion may have to do it the, we have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh well, I suppose that'll be it for this episode. See you in the next. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.